Yo guys, what is up? It's Billy here back with a new video. Yeah, so I've been back after a really long time. I just took a really long break from YouTube and I do apologize, you know, for the inactivity, but it's summer, so we're going to be starting to upload again. And because of that, be sure you subscribe. Um, and for the people that are already subscribed, be sure you hit that notification bell to keep updated with my new videos. And um, yeah, so I'm back. There's gonna be more videos. Um, if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll look through them. And um, yeah, so let's get started with this uh, video. So today we're gonna be learning how to install mods on the new updated Minecraft launcher. So it's been a long time and my videos um, on how to do this is kind of outdated due to the fact that there's been a new launcher. First thing you want to do is go ahead and go to this link. It'll be down below in the description. It's the Java link. And once you click on it, you'll come to this document here. And basically this is where you want to take care of all your Java stuff. So make sure you have the latest update for Java. So you can do by clicking on that. Make sure you have Java installed, obviously. And then you, I highly recommend you get runtime environment. This allows uh, Java applications to run and install those. And I also recommend you get jar fix, but only get this if you're having problems opening up those jar files. So if you have any problems, get this uh, jar fix um, program and it should fix up all the <coughs> Java directories and all that stuff. So after you've gotten this taken care of, we're just going to go ahead and exit it out. And we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, Minecraft Forge website. So this is Forge is the API that enables you to install mods onto Minecraft and probably familiar with this or if you're not this is what that is so um, the link will be down below in the description but basically once you're here what you want to do is go ahead and click on the version that you want so I want the latest one so the latest one right now is 1.12 so I just clicked on that and you'll be uh, uh, redirected here so as you can see these are all the versions for that um, 1.12 like all the forge versions for 1.12 and as you can see, this one with the star, the full shade of star, is the latest one and the latest working one. So that's the one I want. And basically, uh, to download it, there's two ways. Um, so one is the installer and the installer win. So the installer-win is the executable file. Installer is the jar file. So um, you can download the jar file. So I can go ahead and do that right now and save that but um, if you're running Windows I'd actually recommend you download the Windows file so you just hover over the I and click on direct download to download this is going to direct download the executable as well I'll just go ahead and run the executable here just double click to open that up and I get some warning but we're gonna hit run anyways because we trust this program and this is the new uh, mod system installer for Forge. What you want to do is make sure you um, it's checked on install client um, and then make sure it's checked on Mercurius and make sure your uh, roaming directory is set to .minecraft should automatically be defaulted to that and we're gonna hit OK and there you go it's successfully installed now if you do get any errors it could be due to the fact that you have not ran Minecraft version 1.12 so to fix that you just go ahead and open Minecraft launch Minecraft and choose the version 1.12 or whatever version of Minecraft Forge that you're trying to install, uh, just go ahead and run that Minecraft version one time, then exit out of Minecraft and install Forge. One of the errors, but if you get some other errors related to Java and stuff, again, download jar fix, runtime, and all that. Make sure you're good to go with the Java. But um, if you have any other problems, just leave them down in the comment section. I'll try my best to reply with them. But anyways, we're going to hit OK over here, and now we're going to get some mods. Let's go ahead and look for some mods. So here I already have one mod pulled up. Uh, it's called Zero's Minimap, and it's available Forge 1.12 right now, so that's good. So um, there are other, obviously other websites that you can go to, and I'll link them all below down in the description. And you can go to these websites to download your 1.12 or higher, or whatever version mods you're trying to look for for Forge. So. I'll link this down below in the description. You can also just search Google for whatever mods or from YouTube or etc. So let's go ahead and download um, Zero's Minimap here for this tutorial. 1.12, that's the one we want, and download.jar. So you always want to uh, make sure that your mod files are .jar. If there's anything else like .rar, .zip, you probably have to extract them using WinRAR or 7-zip, which I'll also link down below. But yeah, make sure they are .jar. We're gonna go ahead and save my mod file to my desktop here. I'm gonna show you guys where to install all your mods or where to drag and drop them. So you just wanna open up a random folder. It does not matter which. I just open up my file explorer here. And you wanna go to the address bar, which is right here. And you wanna type in percent, percent app data, percent, right? 
hit enter. This will take you to your roaming directory, and here you want to go to your .minecraft folder. So as you can see, if you, as long as you have Minecraft installed, you should have that folder. And once you're in your .minecraft folder, what you want to do is go to your mods folder. Now you may not have a mods folder, just simply right click, make a new folder, and name it mods, all lowercase. And I'm not going to do that because I already have one, but if you don't have one, make a mods folder. So we're going to go ahead and go into the mods folder and we're going to drag drag and drop in the mod like so. Now obviously you can drag and drop as many mods as you want, um, although it kind of depends on how much RAM stuff you have on your computer and if you can run all those mods. But uh, you also want to make sure that all your mods in your mods folder are the same version of the Forge that you have installed. Say you have Forge 1.12 installed like I do, make sure all your mods are uh, version 1.12 as well. If they're different versions, they will not work and your Minecraft will crash. So keep that in mind. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and so we're pretty much done uh, with that. Drag all your .jar mod files in here and you should be good. Now we can exit out of that. Now go ahead and launch Minecraft, uh, the new Minecraft launcher. And there we go, Minecraft is now open. This is where the minor changes come in from the older uh, version. So what you want to do Simply click on launch options, which is right here. And once you click on this, you'll come to the screen. And what you want to do first is enable advanced settings. And hit OK. You can click on add new. And this is where you can add a new version uh, profile. So what you want to do is go ahead and name this Forge, whatever uh, version of the Forge. So in this case, I installed 1.12. So I'm going to put in that. And for the version, you want to go ahead and find release 1.12 forge or release whatever version forge that you want to run so here it is there says forge so we're going to select that and one more optional thing you can do is check jvm arguments and uh, this is very useful if you have if you're running a lot of mods and say if you are running like 10 20 50 mods or whatever you probably want to allocate more ram to your minecraft so to do that you just highlight the one next to the xms here and right now, by default, it gives it one gig of RAM. Um, so you have a lot of RAM, and you want to give it like 10 gigs of RAM. You can just put number 10 there, and now you have allocated 10 gigs of RAM to Minecraft. But that all depends on how much RAM you actually have in your computer. For me, I have around 32 gigs of RAM, so I'm free to um, allocate more RAM if I want to. But yeah, that's optional. So we can go ahead and save, and um, now we're going to click on the newest tab and that should take us back to here and then you want to uh, click on the green arrow over here and you can select the profile for forge and that's what we named it so let's click on that and we're going to hit on play actually just load the mods and everything and the more mods you have the longer it will load as you can see this is warning forge is in beta so the one i have right now is currently in beta if you click on mods you can see all the mods i've installed the only mod we installed is zero's mini map as you can see so we're going to hit done we're going to go into single player and just load up a world so i can showcase the mod all right guys um the world loaded and as you can see in the top left hand corner we have zero's mini map and therefore it worked and if i hit f3 as you can see there's forge version loaded so there you go that's pretty much how you install uh, mods onto Minecraft and that's pretty much about it. That's how you install mods on uh, uh, using the updated launcher and um, Yeah, so guys if this video helped leave a like um, Subscribe if you're new and be sure to hit that notification bell to stay updated with my uh, new videos as I will be trying my best to upload Consistently this summer break and that's pretty much about it guys. Uh, sorry for the inactivity and um, yeah, so uh, See you guys on the next video. Peace